सदाशिवसरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओं पूर्णमद पूर्णमीद पूर्णा पूर्ण मुदच्य पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति 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 ओं नमो ब्रह्मादिभ्यो ब्रह्म विद्या संप्रदाय कर्तृभ्यो वंश ऋषिभ्यो नमो गुरुभ्य सुवीवर हिंदी नाइन्थ वाक्य ऑफ द थर्ड ब्राह्मण ऑफ द फोर्थ चैप्टर व्हिच इज स्वयं ज्योति ब्राह्मणम सो हियर आत्मा इज रिवील्ड एज स्वयं ज्योति ही एंड इट इज सेड इन सो मेनी वर्ड्स हियर आई एम पुरुषः स्वयं ज्योति ही भवति फॉर दिस स्वप्न इज गिवन एज दे एज द uh whatever the swapna experience is given to us so that we can assimilate that atma is swayam jyoti and it is a jyoti which is other than the body mind sense complex something which is separate from the body mind sense complex now this is not acceptable to many other darshanas whether they are vaidika darshana or avaidika darshana and therefore uh, they raise different objections in fact one of the last objections we saw was here nanu asya lokasya matropadanam kritam katham tasmin sati atra ayam purusha swayam jyotihi bhavati iti uchyate like this it is said here that if you see the the upanishad vakya itself is, it says asya lokasya sarvavataha matram apadaya swayam vihatya swayam nirmaya swena bhasa swena jyotisha praswapiti like this the vakya is there this means that this purusha the vijnana maya correct the one who is like this intellect that purusha this individual conscious being takes one portion you can say or a little bit of the jagrat avastha correct i am loka asya lokasya means the jagrat avastha and that jagrat from that jagrat avastha matram means a little bit or one portion ekadesham apadaya means taking that and then creates this entire swapna loka if that is the case then how can you say it is swayam jyoti hi because it takes the help of this this whatever vasana or impressions from the jagrat avastha and that's how it is creating the swapna loka correct so in swapna loka also it is having these impressions or whatever is created from this impression as as a sahaya correct as a help for it so like this the question is asked how can you say swayam jyoti hi so for that bhashekara answered that that's not a defect or a problem for us because when we talk about a light the light itself cannot be talked about or explained without showing what it is lighting up correct there has to be an object a vishaya which is getting lighted correct so the illumination is there means what is illumined based on that only we can talk about the illumination so bhashakara said that vishaya bhuta meva hi tat so whatever matram apadaya whatever portion of the jagrat avastha which is taken into swapna avastha that is only a vishaya that is only an object which is to be lighted up in fact only in the presence of an object the light itself can be revealed okay that also bhashyakara said in so many words tenaiva cha atra ayam purusha swayam jyoti darshayitum shakya it is possible to show this atma as swayam jyoti only when there is something there to be lighted up correct right? the, the objects have to be there otherwise it will be like sushupti where atma is still there okay atma is always of the nature of consciousness but there is nothing to be lighted up there in sushupti so therefore you cannot understand that atma is swayam jyoti hi from that but when the vasanatmika vishaya bhuta upalabhyamana bhavati so when it is available this impressions are available whatever objects which are made out of those impressions are available to you then the atma is easily uh, knowable 
like even the sword which is taken out of the sheath is clearly visible correct otherwise it is covered by a sheath the sheath here can be re represented as the jagrat avastha in the jagrat avastha there are so many things are there even the jagrat avastha also is similar to swapna but still in the waking it is difficult to discriminate this atma as a separate jyoti other than the body mind sense complex but in swapna it is not like that because all the other bahya jyoti whether it is adityadi or even the sense organs or the mind all of them are not there in the same way in the in the swapna therefore the atma can be appreciated there or assimilated as something which is separate from all these things and as the one and as the light which is actually lighting up everything including the chakshuradi okay so that is why this atma is swayam jyoti it is siddha it is established like this we finished last week but again the puro pakshi comes okay cuz so they they now want to prove that the jagrat and swapna are similar therefore in swapna also there are other jyotish other lights which are helping the vyavahara to take place and all that so the puro pakshi comes here so comes here again say nanu अत्र कथम पुरुषः स्वयं ज्योति ही सो हाउ कैन यू से दैट दिस पुरुष इज स्वयं ज्योति इन स्वप्न व्हाई बिकॉज़ येन जागरिते इव ग्राह्य ग्राहकादि लक्षणः सर्वः व्यवहारः दृश्यते सो इवन इवन इन दिस बिकॉज़ इन द स्वप्न आल्सो लाइक इन द वेकिंग देयर इज अ सब्जेक्ट देयर आर ऑब्जेक्ट्स सो द ड्रीम आल्सो इज कैरेक्टराइज्ड बाय द सब्जेक्ट एंड डिफरेंट ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर देयर आर मेनी सब्जेक्ट्स इवन इन ड्रीम करेक्ट देयर आर मेनी सेंशिएंट बीइंग्स in the dream and all the vyavahara is happening there with all these subjects and objects and even in the dream while dreaming you are still using your eyes to see correct the dream eyes are there chakshuradi anugraha kascha adityadi alokaha tathaiva drishyante so even in the dream <laughs> these uh, sense organs like eyes are there they are the ones which actually objectify their sense objects so the sense organs which objectify the sense objects are available and again the uh, the external lights like sun etc which help the sense organs are also available even in dream similar to the waking so drishyante uh, yatha jagarite so like in the waking all these things are there even in dream therefore what tatra katham विशेष अवधारण क्रियते सो वाट इज द स्पेशलिटी इन ड्रीम दे हाउ कैन यू से दट बै बै लुकिंग एट द ड्रीम वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस आत्मा इज अ सपरेट लाइट विच इज सपरेट फ्रॉम द बॉडी मैंड सेंस कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड इट इज सेल्फ एफलजेंट हाउ कैन यू से दट सो यू कैन नाट से सो यू से तत्र कथम विशेष अवधारण क्रियते अत्र अयम पुषा स्वयं ज्योति बवती सो हाउ कैन यू से दिस पुषा इज स्वयं ज्योति based on the dream because the dream also is similar to waking that is their contention means no bashakara answers uchyate so if you if you raise a question like this the answer is what vilakshanya swapna darshanasya so the swapna darshana as a vilakshana means it is different it is still different from waking okay how how is it different from waking means he says jagarite hi इंद्रिय बुद्धि मन आलोका व्यापार संकीर्ण आत्मज्योति सो इन द वेकिंग स्टेट द आत्मज्योति लाइक ई आलरे टोल यू इज मिस्ड अप वित् सो मेनी अदर थिंग्स वाट आर दोस अदर थिंग्स द इंद्रिया द सेंस आर्गन द बुद्धि विच इज इंटलेक्ट मैंड मन एंड देन द अदर लाइट लाइक सन मून एक्सेट्रा ओके सो देर व्यापार दे आर आल डूइंग देर वाट एवर वर्क एंड इन दट the atma jyoti also is mixed up and therefore it's not easy to discriminate and know this atma jyoti as a separate swayam jyoti hi but in swapna ihatu swapne indriya abhavat tad anugraha kaadityaadi aloka abhavat cha viviktam kevalam bhavati tasmad vilakshanam but in the dream the indriyas are not there the sense organs have gone to sleep correct and again that which help the sense organs like adityaadi aloka the lights like the sun etc they are also not there so in in such a state 
vivittam kevalam bhavati so this atma jyoti is separate from all these things it is there isolated you can say kevalam it is there separately available by itself therefore this dream state is different from the waking state he says but then, <laughs> but then this answer is not acceptable to the puro pakshi so again the puro pakshi comes he says nanu tathaiva vishaya upalabhyante swapne pi yatha jagarite tatra katham indriya bhava vailakshanyam ucchete iti so how can you say this swapna is vailakshanyami is different from waking because even in the dream all these vishayas are available the objects which are objectified all the like he already told that correct the, uh, the aditya etc they are all available like even in the waking so what is the difference so again the same question is put and he is asking even how can you say there is indriya bhava the indriyas are not there in the dream state like in waking means for this shruti is answering shrinu what is the answer na tatra rathaha na ratha yogaha na panthanaha bhavanti ath ratan ratha yogan pataha srijate so the shruti is now saying in the in the in the dream there is no chariot there are no chariots rathaha na tatra and ratha yogaha na there are also not all these horses etc which are actually actually uh, they are the ones which draw the chariot correct so the horses are are joined with the chariots and that's how the chariot functions so even the horses are not there or any other animal which pulls the chariot is not there there is no road also there na panthanaha bhavanti and all these things are created by this purusha so the upanishad says atha rathan ratha yogan pataha srijate so this purusha only is creating all these chariots all the things which are uh, joined to the chariot all the animals etc and even the road itself is created further what na tatra anandah mudah pramudah bhavanti ath anandan mudah pramudah srijate so again there are nothing like there are different experiences are there in dream right sometimes we have pleasant experience even in the dream even in that there is a taratamya is there there are grades of of uh, pleasantness even in a pleasant dream <laughs> nice dream let us say where you are enjoying some you are in the middle of some uh, some taxing project let us let us say you are working 90 hours a week but you doze off in front of your computer and then dream as though you are in some vacation enjoying in a beach etc so that is mudaha correct you are you are enjoying pleasure and pramudaha and anandaha ananda means different pleasures pleasurable experiences mudaha means the 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 happiness you get by gaining something is called mudaha and pramudaha you can take it as the happiness you get by experiencing whatever you have gained see there is a there is a happiness in possessing something and there is a happiness in uh, and there is a further happiness while you experience it or enjoy it so like this there are grades pleasure priya moda pramoda also is talked about in taitri upanishad also in the anandamaya kosha same thing here so all these things are there in the dream experience but they are nearly not there that's what the upanishad is saying na anandaha na mudaha na pramudaha bhavanti atha anandan mudaha pramudaha srijate but even all those things all the pleasurable experiences in the dream are also created by this purusha only further na tatra veshantaha pushkarinyaha sravantyaha bhavanti atha veshantan pushkarinihi sravantihi srijate so again in the dream different water bodies upanishad is talking about veshantaha means small pond or a pool pushkarini means a tadaga a bigger tank let us say like a temple tank or a lake and sravantyaha means that which flows the water which is flowing like a river all these things are not there in the dream 
but all these things are also created atha veshantan pushkarini hi sravanti hi so the pond the tank or a lake and the rivers are also created why the upanishad is saying all these things are created means because if you when you go to sleep you are there in a bedroom correct <laughs> now within the bedroom all these things cannot come really speaking how can you fit a chariot and all these things in your bedroom or into your head where you are sleeping so you went to sleep and all these things are there so obviously these things are not there but still it is experienced that means it is created by the by the by the purusha the individual conscious being only based on the impressions which was already talked about correct right? the impressions which have been gathered from the waking experiences they are taken and then this is created in fact this shruti is taken as a pramana for everything which is mithya correct right? like here the upanishad is clearly saying that the dream world is not there but you are still seeing it that is what we call prati bhasikaha means it is there only while you are seeing it once you are out of that avastha it is not there correct while you are experiencing it it is there now similar experiences we have in waking also correct when you see a snake on the rope also it is similar it is there only while you are seeing it and afterwards it is not there so all these things are all not there they are all mithya you can say they are all erroneous cognition false cognition but still they are experienced they are seen means you are creating it yourself you can say in one way correct they are all created by you only based on your own impressions in fact bhashyakara will give more explanation we'll see that in the bhashya so what is the basis for this creation also we have to say correct why should you create all these things for us everything goes back to karma understand that so bhashyakara will talk about karma also there so all these things are created why because sahi karta because this this vijnana mayaha purushaha is the karta he is the one who creates all these things so he is the karta now let us see na tatra vishayah swapne rathadi lakshanah tatha na ratha yogah ratheshu yujyante iti ratha yogah ashwadayah tatra na vidyante so in in the dream there are no vishayas like characterized by all this chariots etc so rathadi lakshanah vishayah swapne na bhavanti similarly tatha na ratha yogah whatever is joined to the chariot okay whatever is yoked i have to say <laughs> to the chariot it is not there this word yoke is very famous because yoga has or the yoke has come from yuj dhatu only from sanskrit like that that yoke has become very famous in the world anyway so the 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 animals which are yoked to the chariot are also not there ratheshu ujjante iti ratha yoga that which is yoked to the ratha they are called ratha yoga ashvadaha arses etc tatra na vidyante in the dream they are not there nacha panthanaha even the road is not there ratha margaha so panthanaha means ratha margaha the the road on which the chariot goes they are also not there further what thereafter ratha rathan ratha yogan patascha srijate swayam so this purusha creates all these things by oneself okay and katham punaha srijate rathaadi sadhananam vrikshaadinam abhave but how can it create all these things because if you have to create a chariot you require wood correct in those days at least we had wooden chariots nowadays we can have metal chariot also whatever it may be riksha <laughs> dinam abave when the wood is the trees are not there wood is not available how did this vijnana maya purusha <laughs> create all these chariots etc because you require all these things the sadhanas to create the means to create the chariot themselves are not available so how did how did it get created means uchyate it is said what is said nanu uktam asya lokasya sarvavataha matram apadaya swayam vihatya swayam nirmaya iti so in the previous ninth mantra only it was said correct asya lokasya from this jagrat loka sarvavataha means the one who one who 
one who has this entire jagrat world to experience or the one who is protecting the entire jagrat world also both ways the meaning was given sarvam avati also sarvavataha or sarvavan is sarvavan like that sarvavataha matram apadaya means little bit taking little bit from this jagrat loka swayam vihatya swayam nirmaya means again you know making one's own body unconscious but then creating this entire dream world like this it was said already iti therefore what antakarana vrittihi asya lokasya vasana matra so what is the matra matram apadaya means what is that little bit which this purusha is taking from the waking world means the antakarana vritti because in the waking world when you experience anything there is a antakarana vritti that vritti leaves a certain impression and that impression or vasana only you take tam apadaya taking that little bit of vritti what rathadi vasana roopa antakarana vritti hi so you take because you have experienced the chariot and the horses and the roads in the waking state you take those vasanas which are in the form of antakarana vritti and tad upalabdhi nimittena karmana chodyamana drishyatvena vyavatishthate and then whatever you have taken that vasana is available to you to cognize correct to to see drishyatvena as something which is to be experienced seen it is available to you how or why because even their karma is very important because what you actually see in dream you don't decide all that correct dream happens but it also has to happen based on on your karma only because whatever prarabdha karma you have to undergo whether you have to undergo a pleasant dream or unpleasant dream etc also is decided by your own karma and therefore here also karma only is impelling you to uh, dream in a particular manner that's what bhashakara says karmana chodyamana means yes the karma is the papa punya okay the papa punya only is impelling uh, so that certain whatever impressions you are supposed to see in the dream world they are picked up and then they are available for you to experience in the dream world drishyatvena vyavatishthate upalabdhi nimittena so the upalabdhi nimitta means that which is the cause for you to cognize a particular kind of dream what is that that is the karma the karma alone is impelling you to see a particular dream that's why it is available to you and that is what is said here also tad uchyate swayam nirmaya iti so that was already said in the previous mantra itself swayam nirmaya swayam nirmaya in the sense that it's not that consciously you are creating the dream world understand that that's why bhashyakara has to give this explanation you don't create consciously a dream world like you will make a chapati in the waking correct if you want to make a chapati you go and knead the atta and whatever you do all that whatever is to be done to create the chapati let us say that's not the case here but you are still creating it because it is your own karma which is making you see a particular dream so it is still your karma although it is not something consciously or willfully you are doing so swayam nirmaya iti tadeva aha rathadin srijate iti even here it is said the same thing is said here correct that srijate okay prathan tatha yogan pataha srijate like this it is said here also same thing is said here tathadin srijate iti natu tatra karanam va karana anugraha kani va adityadi jyotimshi tad avabhasya va rathadaya vishaya vidyante so in the dream world none of these things are really there correct the karanas the sense organs and the ones which help the sense organs to objectify the sense objects like the adityadi the sun etc the lights they are also not there they are not shining within the dream okay and even the vishayas themselves are not there the sense organs are not there those lights which help the sense organs are not there the sense objects like chariots etc also are not there but only the vasana alone are there correct that vasana matram tu kevalam tad upalabdhi karma nimitta chodita 
ಉದ್ಭೂತಾಂತಃಕರಣ ವೃತ್ತಿಯಾಶ್ರಯ ಶ್ರಯ ದೃಶ್ಯತೆ ಸೊ ದ ಬಟ್ ದ ವಾಸನ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಗೈನ್ ಹೌ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಟು ಆರ್ಗನೈಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಪೆಲ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಯುವರ್ ಓನ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಕರ್ಮ ನಿಮಿತ್ತ ಚೋದಿತ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕರ್ಮ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪಿಕ್ಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಅಂತಕರಣ ವೃತ್ತೀಸ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ಆರ್ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ಟು ಯು ಅಂಡ್ ದೋಸ್ ಅಂತಕರಣ ವೃತ್ತೀಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ದ ಆಶ್ರಯ ಆರ್ ದ ಲೋಕಸ್ ಕೆ ಆನ್ ವಿಚ್ ದ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಜೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸಿ ತದ್ ಎಸ್ ಯ ಜ್ಯೋತಿಷ ದೃಶ್ಯತೆ ಅಲುಪ್ತ ದೃಶ ತದ್ ಆತ್ಮಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಅತ್ರ ಕೇವಲ ಅಸಿರಿವ ಕೋಶಾತ್ ವಿವಿಕ್ತ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟು ವಿಚ್ ಟು ವಿಚ್ ದೋ ಜ್ಯೋತಿಷ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬಿಕಮಿಂಗ್ ನೋನ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಬೈ ವಿಚ್ ಜೋ ವಿಚ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಟೆಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಚ್ ಲೈಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದ ಅಲುಪ್ತ ದೃಕ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಲುಪ್ತ ದೃಶ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಅಲುಪ್ತ ದೃಕ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ನೆವರ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಟು ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಆತ್ಮ ಬಟ್ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ಆತ್ಮ ನನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ದ ವೇಕಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ದ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಲೈಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಅಂತಃಕರಣಾದಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಆಸ್ ವೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಲೈಟ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಸೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆರ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಅಲುಪ್ತ ದೃಕ್ ಮೈ ಗುರುಜಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಹಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಐ ಲಿಡ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಶೋ ಅಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕೆನ್ ನೆವರ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಸೀ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ಸೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಸಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೈಟ್ ನೆವರ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ಸ್ ಸೀಸಸ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಆತ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಅಲುಪ್ತ ದೃಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಲುಪ್ತ ದೃಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ತತ್ ಆತ್ಮಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಅತ್ರ ಕೇವಲ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ಬೈ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಟು ಅಪ್ರಿಷಿಯೇಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಈವನ್ ಅಸಿರಿವ ಕೋಶಾತ್ ವಿವಿಕ್ತ ಲೈಕ್ ಈವನ್ ದ ಸ್ವರ್ಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕವರಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವೇಕಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ವಿತ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಮಿನೇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನೋ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಟ್ ತಥಾ ನ ತತ್ರ ಓಕೆ ಫರ್ದರ್ ನ ತತ್ರ ಆನಂದ ಸುಖ ವಿಶೇಷ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಆಲ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೆಷರಬಲ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸುಖ ವಿಶೇಷ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರೈಸ್ ಬೈ ಸಮ್ ಪ್ಲೆಷರ್ ಆರ್ ಸುಖ ಅಂಡ್ ಮುದ ಹರ್ಷ ಮುದ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಈವನ್ ಮೋರ್ ದನ್ ದಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲೆಷರ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ
we have to go by the Tadagam road only to reach to our Gurukulam. So the Tadaga is there even in Tamil, Tamil Nadu also. Tadaga means there is a lake there actually. That's why that village itself is called Tadaga and we used to go past that village and that road used to be called Tadagam road. I just remembered that. Pushkarinyaha Tadagaha. Then Sravantyaha Nadyaha Bhavanti. So none of these things are there. The pools, the lakes are tanks and the rivers, none of them are there in dream. Atha Veshantadin Srijate Vasana Matra Rupan. So again, all these things are created in dream, which are purely only impressions born out of your waking experiences. Therefore, what? Yasmat Sahahi Karta Tat Vasana Shraya Chitta Vritti Udbhava Nimitta Karma Hetutvena Iti Avochama Tasya Kartritvam. Okay, here the Upanishad says Sahi Karta. But the sa here is the vijnana mayaha. Understand that? Means the upadhi sahita atma is the karta. Atma by itself is akarta. Right? That is said in so many words in different Upanishads. So don't, you should not confuse that now. The Upanishad is saying atma itself is creating this, this uh, sopna jagat and all that means. Here the creator, yes, but only with reference to all this these impressions and the whatever impressions which are there, which are themselves impelled by the karma, correct? So, all these impressions which have as their ashraya some chitta vritti and those chitta vrittis themselves are there because of some karma. So, chitta vritti udbhava nimitta karma hetutvena iti avochama. We said that already that it is all because of this. So, the kartritvam here is only due to that. Natu Shaksha Deva, not that Atma is a Karta really. Okay. So Natu Saksha Deva Tatra Kriya Sambhavati Sadhana Bhavat. Again, even the this here actually Vashekara is saying here Saksha Deva Tatra Kriya Sambhavati, we can even take it as that it is not a conscious activity. Like I already told you. You don't create the dream world consciously. Like you, you do certain things in waking, that also you can take here because Bhashyakara simply says sadhana abhava. The means to do all these things, the whatever, any kriya for it to take place, there has to be karakas. Correct? The factors of action have to be there for you to do any action. These karakas are not there in dream. Therefore, the sadhanas are not there. The means to do any action is not there. Therefore, the, here the even the vijnana maya is not a sakshat karta. It's not really the karta in that sense, where in, in the sense of conscious activity, but due to one's own karma only, all these things are happening. Therefore, in that sense, it is karta, he says. So, in fact, he explains that only nahi karaka mantarena kriya sambhavati. So, without the factors of action, the karakas being there, action or activities cannot be there. Nacha tatra hasta padadini kriya karakani sambhavanti. So, in the dream, there are no karakas, the factors of action like hands, legs, etc. Okay, they are all not there. Therefore, Yetra Tutani Vidyante Jagarite Tatra Atma Jyotihi Avabhasitaihi Karya Karanaihi Rathadi Vasana Shrayantha Karana Vritti Uthbhava Nimittam Karma Nirvartyate. But wherever all these things are there, the karakas are there like in the waking world, correct? So, Tani. Yetra vidyante jagarite. In the jagarat, they are all there. And what tatra, there also the atma jyoti is there. They are all, all these things are lighted up by the atma jyoti only. Atma jyoti avabasitaihi karya karnai. See, all these karyas and karanas, the, the physical body and the sense organs, etc., which are lighted up by the atma, are there in the waking. And again, you gain all these experiences in the waking, correct? The rathadi. Vasana, Ashraya, Antakarna, Vritti, Udbhava, Nimittam, Karma, Nirvartyate. So, in the waking, all these experiences you have gained and that alone is used by your own karma to set up this dream. So, that karma is the one which is setting up. Nirvartyate means it is the one which is creating all these things. So, the waking experiences are used to create the dream world. 
So tena utsyate and because of that only it is said sahi karte eti, not sakshat karta. That's what Bhashakara is explaining here. And again, this was already said in the sixth, sixth mantra here also. Atmana eva ayam jyotisha aste palyayate karma kurute. Like that. With reference to the dream, already it was said by this atma, atma jyoti only, all the activities are taking place in the dream. This was said in the sixth vakya or mantra. And tatra api na paramatataha swataha katritvam chaitanya jyotishaha avabhasakatva vitirekena. So even there, Atmana eva jyotisha palyayate and all was said, correct? Based on that, you cannot attribute any kartritvam to the atma jyotis also. Now he is coming to the atma jyotis. So in reality, paramartha also, you cannot say his atma is a karta. This point also I mentioned already. Atma is a karta. The only thing atma is doing is it is shining, which is its very nature. Correct? It is like the sun is shining means there is no kartritvam on the part of sun. Because of the sun's shining, everything is getting lighted up. That is fine. So, other than that, avabhasakatva vetirekena, other than the fact that Atma is the one which shines and everything else shines after that, the Chaitanya Jyotis does not do anything. There is no kartritvam in the Chaitanya Jyotis or the light of consciousness. So, yet Chaitanya Atma Jyotisha antakkarana dwarena avabhasayati karya karnani that avabhasitani karmasu vyapriyante karya karnani tatra kartritva mupacharyate atmanaha. So, uh, that Chaitanya Atma Jyotis is there. It is shining through the antakarana, correct? Through the intellect, through the mind only. In the mind only, the sentiency is there, correct? Or the awareness. It is avail available as the awareness in your mind and intellect, in the internal organ. And through that, again, it is Again, lighting up your sense organ and even your body, the physical body, correct? All these things are lighted up by this Atma. And one, only because of that, these, your body, mind, sense complex are functioning in the way they are functioning. This is said even in Kena Upanishad, correct? Very beautifully. Shrotrasya Shrotram Manaso Manaha Vachoha Vacham Savu Pranasya Pranaha Chakshiha Chakshuhu Ati Muchya Dhiraha Pet Yasmal Lokat Amrita Bhavanti. So it is the ear of the ear, eye of the eye, mind of the mind. Like this, this Atma is revealed. Okay, because in, in the light of the Atma alone, all these things are getting impelled and they do whatever they are doing. But Atma itself does not do anything. It is there as it is. In its presence, everything is happening. Like even in the presence of a magnet, whatever in the field, magnetic field, whatever is magnetic, it will uh, it will be attracted or whatever, correct? So, like that, this in the presence of this Atma, so Sannidhi Matrena, we say. In its presence alone, everything is happening. In its light, things are happening. But it does not have any Kartritvam by itself. All the other things are only in activity, correct? So, tad avabhasitani karmasu vyapriyante. So, whatever is lighted up by this atma alone is being, is engaged in karma, correct? Karmasu vyapriyante, karya karnani, which are all this karya and karna, the body mind sense complex, which is lighted up by this atma alone is engaged in activity. And that is said in the Gita also, correct? Guna, guneshu, vartante. This, whatever, this karya karnas, which are made up of the trigunas, they are only active. They are uh, engaged. In action, they are amongst themselves, they are acting. Guna, Guneshu, Vartante being in different, these different Gunas being within themselves, they are all active. But Atma doesn't do anything. Atma is Akarta, Abhokta. So, Karman, Yakarma, if Pashyet, that is the Jnanam we talk about, correct? Even amongst all this activity, you have to know yourself as Akarta. That is the real Jnanam. So, Therefore, what? Tatra kartritvam upacharyate atmanaha. So, even there, the kartritva, when we say atmana eva ayam jyotisha aste palyate karma kurute and all that, even there, only a upachara, it is only a figurative usage. It is not really 
Nahanyate, Hanyamane, Sharire, and all we say. The Atma cannot be subjected to any action because it never becomes an object. Similarly, it never does anything also. Okay. So, like this, it is neither it does it do nor does it make anything else do and all that. It is said in the Gita also very clearly. So, Atma is Akarta, it is Abhokta. So, all this usage here is only with reference to the Upadhi, it is only figurative usage. So, that Bhashagara puts a note and makes it clear to us. Further, what? Yeduktam, Jayati, Eva, Lela, Iti, Eva, Iti. So, again, this point was that's why this Jayati, Eva, Lela, Iti, Eva is a very, very important statement. Bhashagara keeps quoting that everywhere. The Ivakara, it is as though, as though thinking, as though acting, correct? As though playing, whatever. So this as though is an important thing we have to understand. In reality, Atma does not get, it is not engaged in any activity, whether it is thinking or doing or whatever it is playing. It's all only Iva. This was already said. The same thing is said here also. Tadeva Anudhyate. Sahi karteti iha hetvartam. But the same thing is said here that this Atma is the karta for the dream world only to show that the Atma is the cause through the whatever Papa Punya, etc. It is the cause of this dream world. It has to be shown, correct? That's why it was restate, restated. So, like that, Bhashakara says. In fact, Anandagiri puts a note here saying that Bhashakara says this because to avoid Punarukti dosh. So, why it? If already it was said, why should it be said again means just to show that it is the cause of the dream world, to show that only it is said as karta here. But this karta we have to understand properly. Okay, now the Upanishad itself is quoting from the Brahmana portion. The same thing is said by a shloka. So that we will see. Tadete shloka bhavanti sopnena. Shari Ram Abhiprahatya Suktaha Suktan Abhichakashiti Sukramadaya Punaha Aiti Sthanam Hiran Mayaha Purushaha Yekaham Saha. So, now in, with reference to the same subject matter, there is a shloka. Shloka here is a Brahmana Vakya. Brahmana means the prose portion of the Veda. Is called Brahmana, not the Brahmana Jati here. So we have the Veda itself has Samhita, Brahmana, Aranyaka and all that. This is Brihad Aranyaka, correct? The Upanishad is there in the Aranyaka. Normally most Upanishads are there in the Aranyaka portion. Except for the Ishavasya Upanishad, which is, which is called a Samhita Upanishad because it is there in the, in the Shukla Yajurveda Samhita itself. So... Here, this Bridharneka is quoting a Brahmana Vakya which has already come in the Veda, this shloka. What is that? Swapnena Shariram Abhiprahatya Asuptaha Suptan Abhichakashiti. So, here Swapnena means Bhashakara says Swapna Bhavena. This, uh, you, you go into a certain state, correct? For, for seeing the Swapna also, you have to first lose consciousness of this waking world. Okay, again here, Shariram is Shariram. Shariram Abhiprahatya Swapnena Asuptaha means, Abhiprahatya means you, you, you make your body without any activity. It means you lose consciousness of this waking world. Okay, of this body. Body means body mentions complex. And, but this asuptaha means what? The one who does not sleep. Means this atma, the one, atma is the alupta drik, we said, correct? The one who is always consciousness, always awake. So that asuptaha, sopnena, sopna bhavena, in the sopna, suptan abhichakashiti, it sees all the things which are sleeping, it says. So, Abhichakashiti word comes even in that uh, Mundaka Upanishad, correct? Dva, Suparna, Sayuja, Sakaya, Anashnan, Abhichakashiti, like that it is there also. So, Abhichakashiti means you are just watching it or lighting it up. Okay? You don't get involved in anything, you are just 
witnessing your witness so this consciousness is there as the witnessing consciousness which is unsleeping right with the which does not sleep but what does it witness all the things which sleep means all the things which uh, which can resolve the waking whatever is there in the waking they all go into a sleep state and then the 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 whatever the impressions are then projected correct those are all the things which are called as suttan here the vasana maya so the impressions which go into sleep and then get projected so those are all seen by this asuptaha this atma the which is the one which is witnessing and further what shukram adaya punaha aiti sthanam and this shukram means shuddham the shukram word also comes in other suktas and all that in the veda in shukram means shuddham shuddham pure okay it is this pure consciousness alone pure means it can never become impure that is the purity we are talking about here pure means not that you have purified it or anything that which can never be subjected to any impurity that is the shuddha we are talking about so it cannot it doesn't it is asanga it cannot come into contact with anything therefore it is shuddham and and that which is uh, in the form of this jyoti and again it it adaya means it takes okay means it takes up this karma which is to be exhausted and then goes into the waking world ye okay. punaha aiti sthanam means here it goes from the dream world again it go back goes back to the waking jagrata sthanam it goes and which what and what kind of purusha kiranmaya ha means kiranmaya ha means jyoti swarupa only again shining with gold okay this lustrous self luminous consciousness this purusha who is kiranmaya ha swayam jyoti swarupa ha you can say eka hamsa ha eka eka hamsa ha means the one who the one who goes through all the different states one who alone goes through all these different states this atma alone goes through this waking dream or this loka paraloka all these things all these experiences are there for this one consciousness alone which goes through all these things so eka hamsaha it is called so eka eva hanti iti eka hamsa like that bhashyakara gives so let us quickly see the bhashya of this tadete उक्ते अर्थे एते श्लोकाः मंत्राः भवन्ति सो इन इन द मीनिंग ऑफ व्हाट एवर वाज सेड बिफोर करेक्ट द टेंथ हियर द द नाउ ऑल दी श्लोकास आर देयर इन फैक्ट थ्री श्लोकास विल बी कोटेड आर मंत्रास फ्रॉम द ब्राह्मण आर गोइंग टू बी कोटेड एंड व्हाट आर दे स्वप्नेन स्वप्न भावेन शरीरम इज शरीरम ओनली शरीरम एंड शरीरम आर सेम अभिप्रहत्य निश्चेष्ट आपाद्य असुप्त स्वयं अलुप्त दृग दृगादी शक्ति स्वभाव्या ओके सो अभिप्रहत्य मीन निश्चेष्ट आपाद्य मीन वाट दट मीन दिस शरीर गेन सर्टन स्टेट वेर इट डस् नाट डू एनी चेष्ट आर एनी आक्टिविटी इट बिकम्स इन आक्टिव आर अनकॉन्शियस आर अन अवेर ऑफ दि वेकिंग वर्ल्ड making it like that or or obtaining a state like that this asuptaha means what the one who never sleeps i said correct swayam alupta drigaadi shakti swabhavya the one by itself has this swabhava or the nature of being alupta drige means the one who sight never stops correct right? that kind of shakti is there with this atma so the one who has that or but that obtains this body in a state where the body itself is inactive and then swapna bhavena then it sees the swapna and in that what suktan vasana karanod bhutan antakarana vritti ashrayan bahya adhyatmikan sarvan eva bhavan svena rupena krityastamitan suktan so suktan means bhashakara says vasana vasana kara udbhutan those which have been projected now in the form of the vasanas impressions correct and these vasanas themselves what is the basis for them antakarana vritti ashrayan they have their ashraya 
they have their locus as the antakarana vrittis, which were again created during the waking only. And uh, again, bahya adhyatmikan sarvan eva bhavan means this antakarana vritti itself can be due to some bahya, bahya objects, external objects, or it can purely be some emotion and all that which are adhyatmikan, right, with reference to one's own my body mind sense complex. All of them, sarvan eva bhavan, but all of them what? Svena rupena pratyastha mitan means they all are now resolved or they are all set. Correct? They are not available in their in their own form. They are no more available because they have gone into sleep. There is no activity. Correct? Nisceshtam, apadya, already it is said. And th that's why they are all called suttan. Those, they, they, all the waking organs and uh, everything is sleeping, but only the vasana alone is available. And that's why it is called suttan. And that Abhicha Pashiti Aluptaya Atma Drishtya Pashyati Avabhasayati Tirtaha. So Abhicha Pashiti means this, this unstopping sight of the Atma. It sees or it witnesses that means it lights it up. Avabhasayati. And further, what? Shukram, Shuddham, Jyotishmad, Jyotishmadi. Mat Indriya Matra Rupam Adaya Krihitva Punaha Karmane Jagarita Sthanam Yeti Agat Sati. So, this pure Atma, which is Jyotish Mat, which is like, which is the one which has this light. And again, the Indriya Matra Rupam means what? Uh, all these Indriya which are there, okay, taking that Krihitva. Punaha karmane, and again, to do to karma only, correct? Or to do the karma, Jagarita sthanam eti, it goes into the waking world. After this, after witnessing the dream, it is taking all this karma and it is going to the waking world. And what kind of purusha, hiran mayaha, Hiranmaya Iva Chaitanya Jyoti Swabhavaha, like even the lustrous gold, means it is like the Swayan Jyoti Swarupa of the Atma only, that is likened to a shining gold. Hiranmayaha Purushaha Ekahamsaha Ekeva Hanti Iti Ekahamsaha, it alone goes. Okay. Means where does it go? Ekaha Jagrat Swapna. Iha loka, para loka adin, gachati, iti ekaham saha. So, this same, this one atma alone is going through waking, dream, this loka, next loka, etc. Okay, gachati iti ekaham saha. So, that is this ekaham saha. Then, further, two more of these lokas are there, which are quoted from the Brahmana. Then, the interesting 14th Vakya is there. We will see all these things next week. Om Pur Namada Pur Namidam Pur Nath Pur Namudachyate Pur Nasya Pur Namadaya Pur Nameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Rukhvena Maha Harihi Om Danyavada Guruji Danyavada Guruji